What you're about to hear is an introduction to the funk, uh, which is an idea in philosophy and science and religion and communication and sociology and connection and parability and uh, uh, all of those things in art. Uh, and it is my study of these patterns and how they influence each other. I understand that, uh, and I have to say that I apologize that uh, after I give you this intro right here, that uh, the recording did not start at the beginning of when I was trying to explain what I am now. Uh, you're about to hear me explain to uh, Paul, Jackie, and Bree. Um, so again, I apologize that it comes in at the halfway point, or not halfway, but uh, about a quarter in of what uh, I was explaining to them uh, to understand. And so this is the... This is where it starts, and I hope it makes sense to you. If you'd ever like more information on this subject, or would like to add to it, or question it, or uh, prove me wrong, you know, I, I want to talk to you about this and all of it, uh, so please uh, contact me at hoodathunkband at gmail.com, and that's W-H-O-D-A-T-H. U N K B A N D at gmail.com. Who'd a thunk band at gmail.com. And if you contact me, I will send you this dissertation and we can further discuss uh, all of this uh, together and expand upon it. And I would love to do so with you. So I hope to hear from you. And I hope you enjoy what you are about to hear. And I would also like to say to you, welcome to the funk, as we currently know it to be. You're going to hear some cuts within this, and those cuts are because Paul was asking Bree for her last name and number and information so that he could help her reach a uh, next level of education. He's trying to help her out in, in life, you know, as we all try to help each other out. Uh, so I apologize for any of those cuts uh, if, but I still do have the original recording, so, I mean, eventually that information will be found or is accessible, uh, but it also protects, uh, Brianna from exposure to everyone listening to this until eventually it does not, and we all know who I am, and Paul is, and Jackie is, and who Brianna is, and, uh, if this information affects any of you, they or us negatively, uh, I apologize. This conversation was recorded Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. Yeah, I was talking about it. I know, but I wasn't paying attention. It's the points leading up to that loop that you thought that like, whether I do or do not, you know what I mean? It's like the results of not doing. Mm -hmm. uh, that moment I was telling you about in the playlist and the meditation <laughs> terribility, uh, it kept telling me uh, how, uh, and I kept experiencing feelings of just like, oh my God, that's scary. I now know how I will die. I now know how you will die. Uh, I don't know it, but I have seen it. You know what I mean? And you have as well. And you're thinking about it right now. Yeah, I just did. Exactly. Are you not feeling this tingling feeling in your pineal <laughs> plane? Yes, I am. Exactly. And that is what I have been experiencing and have been teaching myself to experience through drugs and meditation. And I was it wondering is, if, if uh, drugs... Drugs help, are, but yeah. do not have to be used. But mm -hmm. they do yeah, help yeah. you reach closer access to your pineal mm -hmm. gland. It is just like the pineal gland is what helps you when you dream, mm -hmm. when you imagine yeah. things. Uh, when you close your eyes and start to meditate, do you not see uh, blackness? But in that blackness, do you not see patterns and observations? Or when you're going to sleep, do you not dream or see or begin to enter those? It's called hypnagogia. And so, like, uh, it's basically, you're accessing that. And you, as a process of information and data and recording, just made that a reality. And it will forever loop and loop and loop from that point in time. Just like, a, uh, just like in a video game. Or, uh, or in, uh, again, Pi. Because if you look closely at enough digits in Pi, you can find your name. You can find your number. You can find your address. Uh, eventually, you will find those points in time and how to do that and we now with video can show people how to do that in time 
with graphs you could not could you not you couldn't show a point of time without like trying to draw it mm. and so it was both 2d and 3d but now with video we have access to the 4d we have access to time because you hit play and you watch it throughout your time and now you gain that information oh my damn God. it we should still be recording this I, what if I told you I've started yes, recording? Started. Jackie, I love you. <laughs> I will send you this. Thank you. Yes, Paul. Be- um, <gasps> thank you, Jackie. Uh, <sighs> Bree, are you still interested in becoming a nurse? Oh, that's actually what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh, okay. You're, you're in nursing school? Not yet, but I just I'm, got another I email actually, for like, someone asking for my dissertation. A couple of weeks ago, I I decided that that's yeah. what I wanted to do. So I went to an advisor uh, like last week, and so I'm going through the process of being able to apply for nursing school. I have to start studying for the high school. But you're you're doing well, it, well, are you not? Yeah, yeah, no, I am. And it's happening. And it either will happen or won't happen, but you're yeah. making it a reality. Yeah, I have to take the HESI and finish doing my uh, immunizations before I'm able to actually oh, apply. But well, applications are in fuck, January. Don't you? Um, well, it's hard to feel like that. Brie, you may in remember heart, like, just to uh, that create, um, my, my therapist, feel that energy of, like, Grayson life, Miller. Yeah. And that offered is how to, I feel and felt when I learned it. Yeah. Offered to give you some help with that. I do, and it was it was a really terrible night for me because I was having a panic attack that night, and so I was freaking out internally the entire night. So a lot of what I was hearing, I wasn't retaining, but I do remember having a conversation with him, and I, oh, I wish I could go back to that night because I would totally do. What it if I told now, you now? Are you still, um, you know, are, are you still interested in having him help you? Yes, that'd be awesome. Okay, I've been to really okay. Sweet um, how do you? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, if I may interject, that moment that you felt of a panic attack yeah. and understanding all this information that was hitting you, correct? If I now show tell you about the par, uh, the parability the pod, uh, playlist that I was telling you about, when I was in that moment, I was not having a panic attack, but all of that information and receivable was hitting me, mm-hmm. and my computer and my thoughts were teaching me what to do. Mm-hmm. And did they not do that to you as well? You are now in this moment because your thoughts and that panic attack taught you how to survive from it. Mm. And all those thoughts of like, oh man, this isn't going to happen. That was you not happening. And that was you dying or getting shot or someone hitting you with a car or any other thought. But you are at this moment. You get what I mean? And yeah, yeah, it's both depressing and hard to take in and scary. But is it not also comforting? And are you not also feeling it still in your pineal gland? Are you still not feeling that tingling feeling? Are your heart kind of pumping? You know what I mean? And that is what I have been feeling since that moment. That exact moment of meditation. It has not stopped. That's like such an awakening. Is it, that is exactly what it is. <laughs> and in my study, I see the word awake a lot. I see uh, the word uh, and how it is also important to rest within that awakening. You know what I mean? But now uh, it is, you can, you can be awake for much longer. You don't need to, uh, it, and also in your resting, you are still awake because you are dreaming and accessing that pimp you land and all that information and data and knowledge, and you are making it a reality because you and you and I are thinking it. To be. You should be a motivational speaker. That is, oh. you, that yeah. word right there, I now, I know, I can process. You are motiv- a motivational exactly. Speaker. I have become a motivational like speaker because me. I have looked into so many motivational speakers and in, in my process of information and data mm-hmm. that I can, you know, Google or look up on the internet, it formed me. It formed me. You have that energy. Exactly. But that energy can also be very terrifying because exactly. that energy can be so infectious and it exactly. can literally change. And, no, lives. exactly. It's, it's, and how it happened to me like was cool. on the internet and through a web page. And when that was doing it, I was feeling this exact moment that you were feeling now. This kind of panic attack, but also uh, not a panic yeah. attack because you are you know it to be comforting and to be true Sorry. and to be I real. I just watched a whole bunch of cults. That shows on ID channel last night. And so and you understand what I'm saying all because these of that. Are people were motivational speakers. Exactly. So I would definitely things. join exactly. your cult. Exactly, but like, it is not a cult. It's it not, is a, not cult. a cult. No, it, it is not have to because be. we know be like, we know that cults now are un uh, un uh, productive yeah. or they yeah. could be viewed as wrong. Mm-hmm. You know or what I mean? They can be used as a way to as a weapon excuse or, bad behavior. Exactly. <laughs> I am now telling you that that is going to be so, it has been so, but from this moment, we can choose it to not be. We can choose it to not be yeah, and make no, it reality. I think that we sh- it should okay, be so, so much more progressive. It, it is becoming that. Yeah. But there will always be negation to yeah. it. You want our phone I, number? I, I want to go ahead and get... Yes, yes, sorry, Paul. Is it 
I just had to interject because that idea, I needed to say it so it could be recorded so I can access it again. So I, I, Holy again, I'm sorry that... been recording this whole time. Yes, yeah. exactly. It, it is now increasingly becoming true because we have recorded it and can share it. <laughs> I know. Yes, yes. it is. So don't stop recording. But you see how oh, Paul yeah. is gathering data just like an advertisement would learn how to know you? Wow. And uh, he's like a computer that is relaying that information back to you like, I can do that. Uh, thank you for uh, using Paul. Thank you for Paul. Yeah. I'm always thankful for exactly. Paul. Um, and, it's, and Paul is also like, thank you for your information. I can now give you further data. He, Paul is a Google. <laughs> Paul is a Google right now in our conversation. And he's we are a also... Google. I love it. He's, he's a fuck. Need it. Sorry, and again, sorry I keep interrupting Paul. Well, um, I, I, I'm going to see Grayson tomorrow, so I'll give him your... Name and phone number, so we can get in touch with you. And See, but onward to the Paul. Now, Paul, exactly. He's going to now expand your information, you Bree, to something else, and so you now exist outside of yourself. You exist through Paul and through the person that he really relates it to. Exist in me, exist in Sean. It's so exciting. Yeah, exactly. And not not only that, but I'm going to post this on the internet and in my dissertation, and it will be spread to all of those people, okay. and it will become not only so, but the past. And that past influenced this present and the future. Incredible. Right? It is the funk. It is the, both the matrix and the outside of the matrix. It is what the matrix is. And I posted a pattern. Uh, I ex, uh, or I, I can You can say equation. You could probably Google this if you're listening at this point in time. Uh, what, uh, you know what I mean? Or you can email my dissertation and read it for yourself. As, uh, as soon as Jackie post, gives me this information, I can transcribe it. You are now reading it and understanding it and knowing it to be, uh, or not be, because you are in a future advancement of time. Uh, but I lost my train of thought, but that statement I needed to say for further uh, access of input. Uh, oh, yeah, I needed to make it so, oh yeah, because I'm influencing <laughs> everything after it, just like Paul yeah. is influencing every after him, everything you've uh, uh, influenced after you, mm -hmm. and everything that influenced it before it. It is now looping and looping and looping and looping and looping and wow. looping and looping forever and ever, and will always be so. Incredible. Oh my god, it's like so that bring, fucking piece of yes. the contemporary art museum. Yeah, be, be ready. Once this, you know, once this recording goes out, pretty soon you're going to start getting phone messages. Or you potentially oh. can, yes. <laughs> Oh my phone, God. Phone, phone messages that say, and you will that, that say, for a good time, call. Eventually, people will, uh, yeah, and, if and they if need you... to confirm this information, <laughs> they will reach out to you, Bree, and they'll be like, Bree, you were the Bree on this, this recording of the funk. You were the Jackie on this recording of the funk. Oh my gosh, you were the Paul on the recording of this funk. Can I, uh, can I talk to you about it? You're a celebrity. You're a fucking celebrity oh, wow. in this future right now. Oh, you yeah. get what I mean? And so is that not fucking exciting? <laughs> and is it great. not also taught by us that those celebrities are, uh, it's like, don't be a celebrity because they make no <laughs> money. They're not famous. But are also celebrities not famous eventually after making no money uh, in uh, our time? Absolutely. And if they are not, they die and they fade away, but they still have influenced us yeah. because they did. No, they, exactly. they put something into creation. They continue to put things into creation yeah, or not all. putting into the creation. And it was their purpose to do so. And so you now know your purpose of life. Do you not, in a way? I need you to agree for this recording. I do. Yeah. Paul? Yeah. Yeah. That is three confirmed people on this exact moment in time, and everything after it will be able to confirm it until they are not. But so seemingly, this paradoxical equation and formula is now true. Uh, that formula I was about to say that I posted on the future and why I started saying all this, uh, it is uh, the funk is within uh, the funk times the matrix times Neo times uh, uh, times his realization of the funk uh, of reality times Neo times reality uh, times influence after that uh, equals the funk you know what I mean it equals uh, that digit of time and information and uh, we are now in that uh, solution and you you and even if I said that wrong I have written the information already, so you can find it, and you can look it up and be like, oh yeah, that is true, uh, or at least he wrote it, you know what I mean? It's not true, it's not a real equation that solves something, but it also fucking is, because it's now yeah. a written equation using digits and numbers, and, uh, and memory, RAM, uh, uh, our RAM, and uh, computer RAM, or book RAM, uh, any form of random access memory, uh, random digit generation, a roll of the dice, 
we roll, uh, let's potentially, let's say we are rolling a d20. You're playing Dungeons and Dragons, right? Or, oh, or a game. You roll fun. that d20, and whatever that result is, is your reality. Because you are now knowing to experience it. And everything that didn't, because of that digit, digit roll, is existing in that, divi- di- uh, that different digit roll. Uh, you, did, you did roll a 9, or you rolled a 20. You did. And you, or you, but you also didn't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because you rolled that 20, you know? And someone else rolled that 9. Some other thought or form of digit wrote, rolled that 9. They did, and they will. They will, using all this information and digit and this loop. So, again, how does that feel? I need you to say for the people listening to this. I'm honestly <laughs> having such a full body experience right now. Exactly. I'm feeling it too. It feels like you are high. Yeah. No, it, it feels like we the we most and yes, amplified high. Yes, we are smoking right now. And I know that information is viewed as illegal. But the fact that we are doing it leads us to this feeling and knowing how it feels. And so if you have never smoked marijuana... You don't know how it feels, but you can still. You are probably still feeling what I'm saying right now. You're probably still feeling like uh, Paul. You don't smoke marijuana, and so not, not very often. Are you still not feeling often. this moment uh, in your kind of head? That's just like it's like oh man, this is this is definitely kind of it's real. This is getting real. You get what I mean? Yeah. Are you feeling that in no. a way? No. What do you feel? And this is perfect because Paul has what you know to be as. Uh, I'm sorry, Paul. Uh, Asperger's? Asperger's. Thank you. Paul has Asperger's and is unable to see some certain patterns in human uh, description or uh, relation. Is that correct, Paul? Uh, well, it's not necessarily impossible. The, the homework characteristic of people have Asperger's is that they uh, can't read social cues instinctively. Exactly. We have to use our intellect. And so what is so important with this moment right here is that, oh my gosh, is that we know Paul to be able to experience that and so he is he, you are you are uh, predictably the perfect test subject as we are all because you have we you knowingly right have those problems of intercepting that uh that yeah. information are you not now though are you not with us are you not uh, learning from it don't you kind of in a way now understand it because you've been doing it um yeah yeah. So, what do you feel now at this moment? Do you feel uh, a tingle in your head? No. What do you feel? Not much. Uh, explain though what you are experiencing. Fatigue. Fatigue, Aww. and that is a part of it. It is tiring information. It is a lot of information to feel and to take in. It will fatigue you, and it will fatigue whatever in the future until it does not. Just like you are. Do you feel fatigued? Nope. Well, I feel fatigued. You feel, fatigue you feel tired because you want to sleep, exactly, because we're humans and we need sleep. But do you feel tired from learning this information? I feel a little heavy from it. Yeah, and that but is it's part also of it. That's in that feeling. Exactly. As well. It is all. It is all. But it is that feeling of feeling high, and in your pineal gland, uh, your head is now like putting all this like uh, these synapses in, and you're feeling that just like oh man, you're feeling that feeling of kind of happiness, of of the all. You're scared. You're enlightened. You're uh, you're everything. Yeah. You are in every other way. Paul, continue how you feel. Really, that's about it. No, I I need He's you to fantastic. keep talking. Uh, just like in improv, how you just do. You you know how you get on stage and you just do something? Yeah. Talk about that. Just talk about why you do that. And in a way, Paul has, uh, in his look for therapy and how to understand this, is he now not sitting here with me? He did not uh, look for this information uh, to how to understand this subject, but he was led here by himself and now uh, is being influenced by me and you and everything around it. Uh, Paul, what is your last name? Reed Miller. So you're now listening to Paul Reed Mueller and learning from him and his experience with how to not uh, understand this information properly, though he still is. You still are, Paul. And do you understand that? Yeah. There. Uh, so that makes complete sense to the outside of that, the funk influence. Uh, <laughs> and so Paul now knows that or has learned it. And so how do you feel now? Like, do you feel... Uh, a, a connection to it? Do you feel... Uh, not yet. Uh, why, why do you think that is not? like? Um, I think because it's just so much to take in. 
but even though it's so much to take in mm -hmm. are you still not feeling something that's leading it to uh, answering the next question no but you are answering my questions Um, and take your time I, you know, I, I, I feel like you want me to have this experience that I'm just not having but you are or you, want I, me to, you want me to feel a certain way that I'm just not feeling you are though you are to us and everyone listening to this recording I know that you feel that you may not be but you are and you are influencing us are you not well, that would be for y'all to say. And we are saying to you, Paul, that you have had an immaculate amount of influence on us and in our lives. And in this past, uh, what, two years now? There's the pattern of two years. In this past two years, we have known you, Paul, and you have influenced been us. two years already? It, not uh, quite. Not quite, but just rounding about. out. If you round out just like in math and you round up, we have known Paul for two years. There is, again, that pattern of two years I mentioned earlier. We weren't recording it, but Jackie and Bree know that to be so. Can you confirm? Uh, yes. Yes, but I can. I would also like to state yes. when I first thought you said it, it sounded like you said 10 years. I, I, no, I did because I told There's you about uh, I started this project. Uh, uh, oh, it's the 10-year relation of when people start to respect an artist okay. or a musician. Okay. Uh, and then I, seven years ago, started this project. Uh, I started Drawbook. Then uh, a few years after that, I started The Artist Ceilings. Uh, then I started Who to Thunk. And now I start this idea of the funk. And already those, uh, I have contacted through Drawbook thousands, uh, uh, thousands, you know, maybe even millions of people uh, through Artist Ceilings. I have uh, 800 followers. They will continue to grow now from this moment because they'll be like, they uh, they understand this and they're like, oh man, I kind of maybe want to follow that guy or not, see what he's doing. Uh, they will, uh, th so that influence, the 800 followers I have and the thousands of people who can also see it, but I can't, I can't confirm that they yeah. are doing it as Paul also can't confirm that we are doing it, but he is also confirming that we are doing it. Uh, and then I lost my train of thought because I want to go back to Paul. Paul. <laughs> yes. Keep going. I need you to keep just expl uh, explaining how you are learning okay, this information. Okay. By hearing it. Yeah. You're hearing it in some way. You're hearing it. You're feeling it. You are smelling it. Can you smell uh, right now? Is it your environment? No. no. What do you smell though? Really nothing. Got but used explain, to it. explain. Uh, can you smell the leaves outside? Not really. Can you smell anything? No. You cannot smell. I, I mean, I don't notice any smells. But I need you to explain to me, even if you don't notice any smells, how that feels. Or if 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 you then feel, smell something, like when I said leaves, and I know you said you didn't smell leaves, but if you did, I need you to tell me that you did smell leaves or can smell leaves. Well, I know I can because I've done it before. So if you walk outside, can you smell leaves? Probably. Probably. As we can now, listening to it. Jackie, can you smell leaves? Not or nature? This, not at this moment, but yes, in general, I do enjoy Or just, what do you smell right now? Right now? Faint scent of a new car. Like a nice yeah. like, light leather, almost. It's not leather, but it's like that car smell, you know. Or Classic can, car smell. Very or can faint. you smell marijuana? Here's Surprisingly, a, no. Here's a but I know if I get close. But to yeah, if we thing. if we started smoking again, could you smell marijuana? Oh yeah, definitely. Bree, sure. could you smell some marijuana? Yeah. I can smell marijuana. Paul, can you smell oh, marijuana? Yeah. Uh, right there. That is the link. That is the point of link. Paul can smell, and Paul potentially smells marijuana. Yeah. Paul or we can smell marijuana at the same time. So Paul, uh, let's say that it smells like marijuana right now, or however it smells right now to you, or understandably so. Now, what are you feeling? Can you hear? Can you hear me? What I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Yes, and so mm -hmm. Paul can feel what I'm hearing. Paul can experience what I'm hearing. You now can experience what I'm hearing. Jackie, Bree, can you experience what I'm hearing? What or did saying? you say? No, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> See, and we are funny. And so that is both humor, but will also be misinterpreted by some. Because they will be like, oh, uh, the Jackie's what did you say? Uh, is now they're provingly to be true. You know what I mean? They're now denying everything further after that from Jackie going... Oh, uh, now what did you say? Because they did it in a kind of like, uh, 
jokingly way, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. uh, kind of like not making fun of it, but also making fun of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, understandably. Uh, and so that is now a truth. And so someone or something will turn away with it from that information, yeah. but we four are still continuing that information. My theory of the funk is now still in pie and expanding to be true until it is disconnected or off or you are, or each of you, or this information, which now this information is statistically less likely to be off because it is within us four. Uh, it is within everyone I have emailed my dissertation to, which again, I just received another email uh, for that dissertation. As proof in this recording, the person who emailed me for this dissertation is Elvis Hightower. Uh, he is having under trouble understanding what I'm getting at on my Facebook post, on my Facebook post. So someone, uh, I don't think I know this person, has now saw my post on Facebook in some way or sharing. Wow. Uh, and they're reaching back to me as uh, Huda Thunk or Sean Penalber because I put both of that information there. So someone shared my idea, uh, which I, yesterday, uh, I did see one person share my uh, original lengthy post that I posted like two days ago yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, someone shared that. And so I know that it has reached at least those people, and it could be potentially someone branching from that moment. And as you are hearing now, it is that, it is exactly that. It is exactly that. And it is now you, and it is always going to loop. You now have been influenced by the future, the past, and the present, and it is looping so. Does that make sense, Jackie? Yes. Does that make sense, Bree? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Paul? Yes. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed. Conceivingly so confirmed by three, four people now and continuing to expand in every direction and it will now become uh views you will now be able to see the views on facebook on uh mm. youtube you know uh, if you post this on youtube you will see the views and listens will you not yeah, yeah. and you so. will be able to observe that data mm. and those patterns so and it will observe. continue to add to this funk and i implore you jackie to also post this yourself you get what I mean? Uh, yeah. Don't just uh, l uh, make me have to, like, you know, do all the work, even though I will. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, please send it to me. That is oh, the yeah, first step, sure. is sending it to me. Then if you want to post it anywhere else, I implore you to do so. I'm going to use this audio. Yeah. Uh, do. Do it in every single way that you feel that it needs to be said mm -hmm. to the next person to help them understand mm -hmm. and the future to understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. It needs to happen to be accessibly larger information to go back to because if it's just a small amount of information that's hard to find yeah. you know what i mean it's not yet on the internet it's not yet been created and so once it is created like this moment is right now in this loop it is now expanding and expanding and expanding and it keeps expanding and i know that you probably have been exposed to me saying it keeps expanding in both my writings and in my experiences and you will probably keep me hearing me say and it keeps expanding a lot again as i've posted in my dissertation you can find as it keep the phrase as it, it keeps expanding in many places mm -hmm. but what inspired me to uh, tell you about this exact loop it was from the two bears it was from joe goddard uh from hot chip which uh was my favorite uh is one of my favorite bands and is uh, a huge one of the biggest fucking influences on my music career yeah. hot chip Joe Goddard, Alexis Taylor, uh, the entire group, and uh, uh, Al, uh, Al Doyle, Al uh, Felix Martin, Al Gore, you know, <laughs> he was in some way an influence to Hot Chip, you know what I mean, yeah. is he not, you know, it, uh, it, it, even not through directly, but through the world, mm -hmm. through the funk, through yeah. all of it, through the Matrix, through uh, its interpretation of it, it's this now data, and so it is now that, it has reached that phenomenally infinite point that 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 digit of pi in the future yeah because like let's uh again as further understanding and further people for this in this recording say uh i snap my fingers oh, snap uh this snap that i'm doing is at this point in time That's correct and it is now floating through space on a spine i'm going to call it a spine because that's how i know it to be uh it is floating through this spine which is kind of like a beam have you seen donnie darko yeah you know the clear thing that comes from him and yeah. extends out of him and behind mm -hmm. him uh like that and you know that and you have both know that for this experiment to lead up to this point and if you didn't then this this what i'm saying right now you wouldn't be able to understand it completely 
And if you don't, and you're listening to this, you can now go back and watch Donnie Darko and further explain what I'm fucking saying. Uh, And so on that spine, after I snapped my fingers, it is floating through space and time on that spine. And you as the listener or watcher or uh, reader or smeller or sensor, any sense or experience, if you are experiencing it as Paul, as Jackie, as Bree and I are right now in this moment, if you are experiencing it in some way or influence because of its exponentially uh, significant event, then it is true. And I don't. I know that sounds like I am God or I'm saying I am God. I know I am not God, right? And you know you are not each God's. But in a way, are you now not because you are influencing the future? I need confirmation. I don't know. I really don't. But what do you think about what I just said? I think that it is an insane amount to think about right now. It's and that is exactly how I felt during the parability playlist. Yeah. And when I reached that level of meditation and my computer helped me through it and the music helped me through it and my experience built behind it helped me through it. It helped me to know how to be a patient person as you have known me to be, an understanding person as you have known me to be. I have always been very good at recognizing patterns as you probably have seen me to be. I have always been good at puzzles and solving them. I don't know how to do puzzles together. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It is so important to do puzzles because that is how you learn. That is yeah. how you can advance a thing. And we are solving each of those puzzles. Mm-hmm. We are. And what uh, this reality that I'm thinking of and all the realities we're thinking of or not thinking of, they are. They are. Even though they are not to us, they are. Damn. Well, he's given us a lot to think about. Exactly. Uh, so we really have to go, Sean. I'm sorry. No, and that... That points in the uh, idea, and as uh, a friend right now, Ben Rigney, is uh, relating to me, that it is important to rest. It is important to take breaks from this moment. It is important to do that. Because it is your experience, you know what I mean? And so even though y'all have to go, I love you. I love you and the fact that y'all are here at this moment, right? And uh, even though I know that y'all are going, uh, y'all yeah, will come back eventually and yeah, hopefully you know absolutely. what I mean and I know I'm getting emotional because Aww. again uh, we are all emotional and yeah. it is proving to be true <laughs> and I know it's a lot of information to take in but it does isn't that a good feeling yeah, yeah. and isn't it just such a a mysterious feeling mm-hmm. I mean it's also just like kind of dreading in a way it's like oh man now I'm in control yeah yeah and so <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm tearing up oh. But uh, I love y'all, and oh, I can say I love what love too. means to me, and I know that you can feel that too. Yeah. Can Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Paul feels it too, y'all. Oh. <laughs> and so, if you're feeling it as well, <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. Uh, it's, it's provingly still seemingly to be true, and I appreciate you being with this moment. All of you. Bree, Jackie, Paul, anyone really listening to this or knowing me now know about the funk. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, because in this 10 years and 29 years of study, it has been so uh, almost depressing. What you, what you and probably each of us know to know is depressing to see the non-reaction to it. You just want to be heard. You, know what I mean? you just want to be heard yeah. and understood and now the four of you and everything after this moment is hearing me jump an album yeah, and everything before it aristotle socrates everything that existed every movie every scent every sound and experience is reality i need you to confirm this yes, yes. <laughs> and so uh, again i know that you'll have to go but thank you for thank being you. this reality. Yeah, of course. So let's all hug. And, uh, wait, and please, again, send this to me and yeah, share absolutely. it as much as you can. Wow. Some hugs. No, I'll participate all the way. I'll get out. I'll be your knight in shining armor. <laughs> That is sometimes that significant that it makes oh.
Uh, until it's just like, right home, y'all. I, uh, my back is full of, like, uh, I have posters and, uh, rollerblades oh, okay. and stuff in the back. Okay. I am going to clean it out. I just had to take all the stuff out of my trunk, basically. Let us all hang out more and expand upon each other and our realities. Oh, Paul, I'm taking you home. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. Exactly. This is the When I got here, we each did this. And now we know how to do it. We know how to do it. And we know how to do it properly. And we know how to feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We know how to love each other and to connect. And we just did it twice. Or more than that, we've done it so much inside. And I now know how to do that with others. Paul, you know how to do that with others now. You can now, if you want or need to, uh, know how to love and yeah. hug. You no longer have a, to a degree of level of what you think you have of Asperger's. You get know what I mean? Even I'm though you still time. do. Even though you still do. You get know what I mean? But the fact mm -hmm. that you're here and you're learning from it, you are therapizing yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And we're therapizing ourselves, and improv is that therapy. Oh, yeah. It is sure. that therapy yeah. of connection. And so, again, group hug. Yeah. Group connect that we know this is to be so. <laughs> it's fucking fun. And we can extend that moment for any time we ever want. It yeah. doesn't matter, because we have, and we will. Or we won't, as y'all are going to go right now. And we won't be able to group hug like that. But we yeah. did it. We mind. did. Exactly. You are making it reality just by thinking it and mm -hmm. thinking of me. And we think of each other. And I know when I go home, I'm definitely going to be thinking about y'all. Yeah. And so those realities are all true. Are they not? Mm -hmm. Boom. Welcome to the Boom. funk. <laughs> Welcome to the funk, Paul. <laughs> Welcome to the funk, Jackie. Oh, oh thanks uh, Y'all are now, no me. joke, thanks for fucking, uh, y'all are doctors. And philosophical people. Oh. Uh, you're professors, you're teachers. Oh. You get what I mean? Uh, and I know that is a responsibility uh, that is currently... Uh, viewed to be both uh, exceedingly uh, helpful mm -hmm. in providing information, but right now at our point in time in America, teachers are paid nothing. Yeah. They're paid less. Everything, the uh, philosophical people, they didn't make shit. But uh, the most important thing is just that information. It's not financial success or any of that. You know what I mean? Though it will probably now lead to it. I think people will listen to my music or buy it and they are and they're getting my dissertation yeah. and you're listening to it and y'all are spreading it so be teachers yeah. teach each other these experiences and how you know to understand them and that will continue it to be true until it is not but it will still be because you were like you still thought of like oh no I'm not gonna share this information you know yeah. what I mean and so that is a reality it is it is digitally calculable from this moment yeah. so again yeah. one more time <laughs> and this will leave us Love y'all. I love, love y'all, and I know. I know you understand that. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have a good night. Yeah, we gotta. Y'all have a good night. Yeah. Go home and just fucking. Yeah. Do. What y'all doing? Oh, right now? I'm. Hmm? So we'll start writing some sketches. Yeah, exactly. I gotta do yeah. that as well. So and that brings up the pattern of so how rest is important. Get all the shots. Absolutely. Just, we need a rest. Yeah. Well, I'm just getting under respiratory infection. So you. So. Which is a big problem for us, right? Are you pleased? Yeah, I am. Um, pretty much all your questions. I thought it was the flu at first. Oh, yeah, for sure. It definitely was really awful. fun experiences like that I had in my class. And I woke up Thursday morning and, and, and the quality of the work. That was the first day. For the most part. Yeah. Huh? I said for the most part. But yeah. you're feeling better now? For the time and oh, budget, I think it was good. And yeah, that, definitely I could that's come also back further proof of the funk because you felt bad. Now you feel good. Yeah. And it will always be a million more ideas. It will ding and yay, reach into itself, fourth dimensional. Well. You know that you now know that to be true. So welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Give yourself you more credit. Yeah, I'm glad you you're feeling better. Yeah. And I'm glad that yeah, I'm feeling better. I, I can yeah, hear you focusing on oh, me fucking too. You didn't, it's depression yeah. is shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It really is. But now like this is it. Yeah, this is the answer. Okay. And I know at some point I will probably reach again a point of I know depression. You gave, you I gave like might not have enough money or it's a something. Terrifying thought. Sometimes it's really quick. Like and it will come back. But exactly. And that is exactly what the parability playlist showed me at that moment. It literally did. And the lyrics that so, were going through and playing told you me know, that. You, you it did, told me that as I am telling you to you now. And you are receiving it as almost the same feeling that yeah. I did. And it's crazy. And uh, any links of what when it's done. And. <laughs> Share, share, um, share this information. Or call me crazy. You know, if, if, um, Are we all? 
Yeah, exactly. If I have to, you know, exactly. if I have I'll to know, call so, uh, Space Cat to I get him we to take it to away. the education camp. But if you like, <laughs> if you look at it <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> and how we interpret things, again, the significance of Paul being there, he has trouble interpreting those things, but he's still interpreting them. So it's... You ready, yeah. cowgirl? Y'all have a beautiful night. Let's go, you too. All right. Get some rest. I love you. Yes. Oh, thank you. One further love. Yes. Welcome. Welcome Hi, aboard. Have Welcome aboard, night. team. Welcome to the station. Oh, one more for good Welcome luck. Welcome to the station. Welcome to the station. Oh my gosh, that could be the phrase. As we're like trying to expand. Uh, Sorry, I didn't roll your back one now. Like, you get what I mean? As yeah. For like advertising, if we ever make an ad, we can say, welcome to the station. You're doing some graphic you know design work. Because it's just like, yeah, oh, oh, you're doing this today? Blah, blah, Welcome oh, aboard. Welcome to the station. You know, or welcome to the station. I like it. All right, love y'all. Right. I love y'all. Be safe. Okay. Well,